Like... So Sarah, why, why are we wearing overalls today? <laughs> well, I thought we'd do the eat it or wear it challenge. Eat it up. or wear it? Mm. Well, I couldn't eat this, so I thought I'd have to wear it. <laughs> well, I thought I'd be kind and uh, give you a suit to wear. I have to confess, I'm slightly nervous about this. You I'm should not be. quite sure what you've got up your sleeve. <laughs> well, it's a very popular challenge on YouTube. It's called Eat It or Wear It, and the rules are that we've got some foods behind us, mm -hmm. and I've kind of hidden them. They're all ocean themed, and you're going to pick a number, and I'm going to reveal it, and then you have to decide if you want to eat it, and you have to eat a whole spoonful, or you can wear it. But just to jazz things up, you can also put it on my head. Wear it as in empty as over in your head? Wear it over your head, yes. So it's going to be a bit messy. Hence the uh, broiler scene, ah, because I know right. that you're busy this afternoon. I am quite busy. So I thought I'd be nice, you know, because I'm like I'm that. Gonna, I'm going to, I'm going to fasten my buttons <laughs> on now. Because you don't know what's in here yet as well. No, I don't. So, uh, there How might many be some nice things, there might be some not very nice things. Um, a very unlucky 13. Well, that's the one I was going to go for mm, first. 13? Yeah. Fantastic. Well, I think I'm going to take my Explorer's hat off, because uh, this could get quite messy. And I'm also going to take my goggles off as well. Well, so. I thought you might want them on. <laughs> I might need them. That's how I look. So you're going to go for number 13 first. Well, I, I might as you're well. You're very up for this challenge. I love might it. Might as well go for 13. Yes. yes, right. Lucky 13. Right, there we go. Let's have a look. Okay. This is number 13. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know what this is. And I'm really glad you've chosen this. Ah. Because... This is one I would not have, I probably would have ended up wearing this one. This is... I think you may be wearing it. This is Taramath Lada, which I don't like. No, I don't like either because... I don't like Taramath Lada. It has beetroot in it and beetroot is the one thing I absolutely can't stand because it reminds me of working in a morgue, so... Really? Mm, beetroot, beetroot in a morgue? Oh, this smells like bodies. Well, I have to say, Sarah, Taramath Lada is not one of my favourite foods. I'm, re I'm just so glad that you've got that because... So hold on, wait a minute. If I don't eat it, I've got to wear it. Yes. I don't want to wear this. <laughs> I'm going to have to eat it. Ah. Oh. But the, on the plus side, if you eat it, you get to put a spoonful on my head as well. Okay. All right. So that kind of makes it all right. I'm I'm so glad you chose that one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and Tarasulata is. Oh no. Oh, it's really cold as well. <laughs> Tamaris Latte is made from, is it cod? Codro, Codro, I think. Codro, yeah. Oh, and it's the wrong. beetroot bit, the beetroot. Ugh. It's just wrong. I'm really glad we got that one out of the way first. <laughs> well right. done. Have a sip of coffee. Oh, well, thank you. Tamaris <laughs> Latte. Oh, I can't believe I'm wearing Tamaris Latte. You see how elegantly I place that? It's like a little sort of, <laughs> you know, a fascinator. It's like a little fascinator. Fashion? Yeah, I fashion? think you can catch on, Zira. <laughs> right, okay. and now it's your turn. Okay, so I'm going to go for, now I don't actually know what's in each one, so I'm going to go for number four. Number four. I think, so let's have a rummage. Look at the score in the door, uh, number that's four. That's your spoon. Mm. I can see this getting really messy. <laughs> it hasn't started well, has it? <laughs> no, definitely not. Three, four. Number four. It feels very interesting. Ah, mm. oh, so we have pickled oh. mussels. <laughs> now, I have a thing about shellfish. Mm. I have a thing about shellfish. These are animals that live on the ocean floor filtering and feeding on other animals' poop, basically. I never eat shellfish. I, I never eat shellfish. <laughs> Perhaps I'm being shellfish. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but I, I never eat them because I think they're pickled. It's even pickled worse. as well. So are you going to eat that? Pickled I think mussels. I'd rather eat a pickled mussel than, right, than, than, than wear one. But there are some very interesting facts about mussels as well. Like really? You may or may not know. Pickled mussels have been a food source for the last 20,000 years. And we actually know that we actually know some of the human settlements because they found mounds of mussel shells. Mm. So that's a very interesting thing. And I believe that because the the mussels actually attach to the rocks really well, the scientists are now looking at mussels um, as a, like an adhesive for fixing eyes. So... Keen? No. <laughs> Not keen. Not keen. So hey, where's my spoon? So what, what are you going to do? And we haven't had lunch yet, I have to say. 
I'm gonna eat it, but that means like if I eat it, I get to put it on your head. Yeah, obviously. Is that the deal? Yeah. Okay, good. It doesn't smell great, I have to say. Oops, one oh, on the floor. One on the floor. <laughs> I think it's gonna be a lot more on the floor, actually. Mm, this is gonna be messy. Yeah, okay. this, is, this is gonna be messy. Okay. Go for it. The pickle bit. I might like vinegar, but. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Down in one. Um. I'm gonna be quite nice and I'm just gonna put, I'm not gonna put any of the, the pickling on you. Oh. <laughs> I'll just. Prefer fresh mustard oh, it's, than it's pickled. Oh, running down my face now. <laughs> okay. Okay. I never thought when I got up this morning that I would be wearing a muscle <laughs> on my head. Yeah, I didn't actually tell George that much about this challenge and luckily he hasn't seen it on the internet as far as I know. No, so. I haven't. <laughs> right. Would you like a towel? No, thank you, no. <laughs> On uh, right, one hustle. Okay, that's two I down. If I was starving on an island somewhere, I, I would eat them. They're very nutritious. I'm sure they, they are. They have a lot of protein in them. Probably, mm. I think they have more protein than beef stock per 100 grams. Really? Mm. I get used to it. Yeah. Right, now it's my okay. turn. <laughs> my turn. Yes. Uh, number one. Number one. <laughs> number one. Okay. Let's go right to the beginning. Ooh, number one. Let's have a look. Okay, let's have a look in the bag for number one. Um, it's quite a small bag, this one. Smelling slightly like pickled now. <laughs> They're going to be really popular this afternoon. Okay, we have Fisherman's Friends. Oh, yes. I'm, Is that a I'm good one? one? Of those, and yeah. apparently these were developed in 1865 for fishermen who were working in the Icelandic deep seas as a lo lozenge for them. So it's the same. Healthy, is it? Yeah. Mm. When, I was, when I was in school, we used to try and eat these and keep I've them had one. for as long as we could because they get quite strong. I've never had one. Oh. Mm. It's like I think you menthol. came off well there. I think I'd rather have that than the muscle. Mm. Yeah. Mm, so they're quite strong. Yeah, they're quite strong. Mm. I think they last a while as well. Oh, do they? <laughs> right, so that's um. number one. <laughs> Fisherman's friend. Yeah, I, I thought that was something else entirely. Mm. Yeah. You right. look very uh, very fetching like that with mm, the, uh, okay. the muscle on your head. <laughs> your turn. My turn. I'm going to go for number eight. I don't Do you know, know I, I wish I'd put the home <laughs> flat on the other side. Because it, it looks really good there, but it, it's just think, not think not it's visible. my colour. Oh, mm. oh, no. Oh, yes, I did, I did give you the option <laughs> of... Uh... <laughs> there we are. So you've got a little fisherman's friend there in your Taramus Lata. <laughs> Thanks, George. Mm. So what did I say number number eight? Number eight. Good night. Let's have a look. Number eight. Number eight. Da, da, da. Oh, I think this is going to be horrible. Um, we have mixed spice. Mixed spice? It's something that people in Britain used to fight over. So people would... Uh, used to fight over it? Yes, because obviously they were travelling across the oceans and they were ex well, bringing it into the country. A flavoursome uh, mix of mm. sweet spices contains allspice, cinnamon and nutmeg. I don't think I want to eat that. No. <laughs> and I have to have so a So you know where it's going, don't you? I think I should have brought some water, actually. Uh, that would have been good. <laughs> I think... Oh, no, no. I I, you know where I, it's going, <laughs> don't they? Yeah, I'm not eating that. I'm supposed to get a choice over eating or wearing it, George. I thought I'd like... If I didn't eat it, I'd take empty on you. Oh, but this was my choice. Oh. <laughs> but actually, you've done me a favour. Because I've done you a favour. I think to have a spoonful of that would be a bit... Uh, actually, I'll try it. I'll try it. Because... You're brave. I mean, I love spices, but I don't know if I could eat them whole like that. <laughs> there, is, um, there is another YouTube challenge called uh, the Cinnamon Challenge, where you have to eat cinnamon. <laughs> Two challenges for the price of one. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I, I ate that because I, 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 you say I you screwed up on, you. You, on, on the challenge bit, so I, I'm... I'm taking it to the team now. there. You're suffering Oh, that was disgusting. <laughs> well, and it's actually your, t your turn now. <laughs> oh, I'm number 10. <laughs> oh, God, it's horrible. Uh, let's see what number 10. <laughs> the coffee. Well, actually, I think this one. Oh. Have a guess what's in it. <laughs> so it's liquid. It's not. Quail pea, is it, dummy? No, but that's a good suggestion for a future challenge. Quail pea? Yes. It smells like cold tea. It is cold tea. 
and the reason I put tea in is because uh, we were actually, as Britain was actually at war with Spain, and so coffee became quite tricky to get hold of. Cold tea. And it was a Portuguese princess who was married to George, uh, to Charles II, I believe, and uh, it was the princess from Portugal that introduced tea to Britain and it kind of filters through the upper classes and into Ooh. the regular people. And it's still transported into Britain by ship. Just what you mm. want off your mm. uh, mixed spice. Cold yeah. though. Is it, it's been no, stewing it's a while. Not bad. <laughs> but it's very good for removing the taste of old spice. Spices. Mm. And fishman's friends. Mm, mm, mm. I'm hoping that, I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping he's going to forget this bit. Because I've eaten it, I can now pour it on you. Yeah. Oh, goody. Oh. There we are, the little trickle. Ah, yeah. it's so yeah. cold. And that <laughs> mixes with the spice, that's rather nice. Wow. And the tarot's matelot. Oh, it's really cold. Right. <laughs> spice is running down me as well. Oh, whose idea was this challenge? <laughs> Next. Um, that'll be my go now. Right. Ah, I'm all wet. <laughs> right, mm. I'm going to go for um, which one haven't we had? Number two, I Number think. Number two. Yes. Oh, I'm still dripping. Oh. I think I prefer warm tea than cold tea. <laughs> Have a look. Number two. Look at that paper. Spicy. Mm. Oh, looks like a jar. Two. Everything's coming in taramasalata. Taramasalata. <laughs> Oh. Ah. Oh. Kidneys. Kidney beans. Mm. That's all right. Um, how are we going to eat these? Um, I have it in opener. Yeah. Now, who's... Oh, it's mine. Oh, I have to decide. Don't I now whether it's easier or it. Um, I think I'm going to eat it. Only because then I get to put it on you. Ah. It seems fair. All right. Um, and the reason I chose kidney beans is because... The sailors in the Royal Navy used to call them Satan's suppositories. Satan's suppositories. Mm, I think when they were mixed with uh, the spices. <laughs> <laughs> so in the 70s, that, that was the popular and name. Why did them. they call them Satan's um, suppositories? Because they were in very spicy chili. Right. And I think it must have made them go to the toilet quite a lot when they right. were on the ship after eating this spicy right. chili. With the, with is the it, is it not possible that a few of the people watching this might not know what a suppository is? Mm, it's very likely. It is, yeah. yeah. Mm. Well, a suppository is a thing you push up your bottom. Now in France they love this sort of stuff and if you get a headache or a fever they won't give you a pill. They'll say, oh use this suppository. Oh really? Yeah, and you sort of... You sort of <laughs> and it's, all the drugs are absorbed very quickly. Well, when I went to France many years ago, mm -hmm. I was, I said I've got a terrible fever and you handed me these things and I went back after a couple of weeks because they, they, were, they weren't working, you know. <laughs> and I said, said to the guy, these things are useless, I might as well shove them up my, you know, and he went, this is what <laughs> you were supposed to do, huh? <laughs> Oh, I thought you ate them. Yeah. Right. Well, the other word for them, um, not for the kidney beans in the vegetable forms, was actually on a raft. <laughs> nice. <But such. laughs> well, as I'm going to be having this, I better open it for you. Thank you. I like these openers. Old fashioned. Is that old fashioned one, isn't it? You don't see these around. Old often. fashioned opener. There we go. Um, I mean, I have to say, I mean, I don't mind kidney beans, but um, I'm glad that they're the vegetable kind, not the meat ones. I don't think I'd like. No, the meat you shouldn't ones. eat them raw, of course. Oh or, really? Or, yeah, they 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 have to be cooked as, as these are. As or. these are, so right, I'm gonna have one. One. Well, the spoonful. Well, I have a spoon, but you said a spoonful. Well, it's a spoonful. That's not a spoonful. That's, that's a spoonful. only one. That's a spoonful. That's a spoonful. No, that's one kidney okay, bean. Okay, okay, I'll have to get a spoonful in there. Come on, that's two. I want at least four on there. <laughs> I'm not a massive fan of <laughs> There we go. Beans. That's a spoonful. Okay. Yeah. Here we Yum. go. Kidney beans. Num, 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 num. They're not great cold no. in, in brine. No. Mm -hmm. No. But they're not bad. I mean, it could have been tarantula, so that would have been really bad. I'm okay, Sarah, I'm, I'm ready. Okay. I'm in the zone. Okay. Now, I can be nice today. No, you can, no you, you can you can enter the whole thing. The whole, if you thing? Want. the whole thing if you want. I've got that on camera. Yeah, got that on camera. <laughs> go on. Okay, step forward a bit. That's the deal. Are you sure? Yep. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was really stressed earlier, not now. <laughs> that was great therapy. Love it. 
I'm, I'm, such a I'm beginning to regret saying that. No. <laughs> Looks really fetching with the muscles. Mm. Great. Right. Okay. <laughs> um, right, Sarah. Um, I, oh, the muscle's gone. <laughs> I've just lost me muscle there. Right. Uh, could I have number seven, please? Number seven. And let's hope it's something really good. Wild. <laughs> let's see. Satan, that's the first time I've ever had a can of Satan <laughs> suppositories over my head. Here we go. Right. This is number seven. Number seven. Um. <laughs> Anchovy fillets. <laughs> oh. And apparently these are really good for seasickness. Are they? Uh, which is what sailors swear by. Anchovy fillets. Mm. Well, so if I eat one, oh gosh, I, I got to put it on. Oh no! Is that right? Yes. That's the deal. Yeah. yeah. Well, anchovies, of course. These are. Do you like anchovies? I, I'm not, not overly fond of them, but you know, mm. yeah. I think they could be worse things. Oh, it's bad. <laughs> you know, you can finish the tin. That's fine. No, no, absolutely no, fine no. by me. And what, what? Interesting. Well, they're very salty, aren't they? Mm. What, I think it's the salt of them which is probably why they're good for seasickness. What, what so. interesting thing is there about about anchovies? Oh! <laughs> oh! Yeah. There you go. Thanks, George. All right. It's lovely. <laughs> Earrings. Oh, next. <laughs> they're all going to like fall off now. We, we will be eating all these after us, so it, 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 there's no way wasted <laughs> No food will be wasted. It'll, it'll all be, hens will have it. <laughs> um, what numbers have we got left? Um, okay, we need four. Oh, thanks. Uh, number five. Number five. Number five. Da, da, da. Is this for me or you? Uh, oh, it was you, you had that one. Okay, so this is, yeah, this is mine. Yours. Yeah. At least you tried it. Come on, keep up there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Black peppercorns. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yes. Hmm. I'm not sure I want to eat. I think I might wear these. You might wear them. Mm, okay. I think. So I, you're, I'm you're not, not sure. Them. I don't. Uh, peppercorns. Don't eat a whole one. Come on, just grind it out. Just one, not 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 a whole spoonful. No, you you can have one. Well, you, the rules were a spoonful. They were. That's why. That's why I'm like. I think I might wear them. Okay. I don't know. A whole spoonful of peppercorns? No, that would be too much. That would be really hard. Okay, so the reason I chose these is because they were considered um, black gold by sailors. Yarr. And they used to fight over who would ship them. And um, they were also used by the Egyptians in mummification. Really? Well. Mm. And they were used by sailors to cure things like toothache. Right, okay. So yeah. Good. I don't have toothache, thank you. No. But um, yeah, I think I might wear them just because. Uh, yeah, I. I'm feeling sad now. I didn't put the tarot on that side. That's fine. You can then stick it. Is that, that going to be your one regret now? That's my one <laughs> For the regret. For the rest of your life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Do you want to do the honours? I'll, I'll do the honours for you, yeah. Okay. I'm bracing myself now. Yeah, I'd much rather wear peppercorns than, than eat them. Let me just get a bit of... No, you see, right, if, if, if we were back in time, people would be like, you know, all that money that you're putting on, it's like gold. Oh! Oh! Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Ah. Right, it's your turn to choose a number now. Uh, number nine. Number nine, okay. Number nine. <clears throat> you ready for this? And are you sure that isn't a six? Upside down. That's, that's a nine. All right, all right. It's a nine. It's None of it makes any nine. difference, of course. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, a lime. A lime? Oh, mm. no, I know about limes because the sailors uh -huh. got scurvy. Yes. And somebody very smart who I can't remember who it was said that if they ate lime and citrus fruit, they wouldn't get scurvy. Yes, and I think it was uh, Chris, uh, Captain Cook. Captain Cook, uh, hence the, the it phrase limeys. That's exactly it. Yes. Yes, well done. So, so, yeah, yeah, a bunch of limeys, Mike. Yeah. yeah. Well, I will definitely So that's where the expression limeys comes from because the British sailors used to use them for scurvy. And, uh, but apparently lemons were better. So. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's sorry. That'll wake you up. <laughs> oh! I'm squeeze it. <laughs> At least my hair will be really shiny afterwards. <laughs> oh no! Ah! Two little horns on there, there you are. Thanks. Like, 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 you know, he Hellboy. Like Hellboy. He Hellgirl. <laughs> Excellent. No, man. Really fetching now. It is. 
Uh, now, so I think it's your turn. Um, no, yeah. I think it's my turn. I'm running out of. I'm not quite sure which number we're on now, so I can just grab. Um, oh, 12. Number 12. 12. I have a bag inside. <laughs> I think this might be one of yours. Oh, goody. My favourite, is it? I think it might be. Yes, cooked crickets. Oh no! Cooked crickets. Insects. So there you are. I have to eat those. Yep. Or wear eat them. A spoonful of them, or wear them. Ooh, a whole spoonful. A whole spoonful of cooked crickets. Okay. Are these any particular? Crickets? These are black African crickets. I'm gonna say the which to are the camera there. Very yummy. Okay. Full of protein. Full of Ew. nutritious goodness. It's got and legs in on 50 it. years time. We'll be eating a lot. Oh, you lost your lime. Everything's falling off. I saved the crickets though. And an amphibi. <laughs> Get that back on. I'll take the front. So. Oh, 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 oh. There we are. It's better. Um, so, really? People eat insects? Lots of people. Millions of people around the world eat insects in hot countries where insects are abundant and they mm -hmm. swarm. It's much easier getting your protein by eating insects. Okay. And we, we'll be eating them in the next 50, 100 years. Lots more humans will be eating insect protein. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I could do this. You can. All right. So, down and one. Down and one. Down and one. Oh, chew it. Down, chew it. Enjoy the flavour. Okay. Down and one. Mmm. Mm. Actually, that's really tasty. It is. <laughs> um. I'm. I'm a bit more worried like that you put them in a in a poo bag, bag for, for a dog. <laughs> Oh, um, actually, do you know what? I might have another one. Oh, they're oh, actually, oh. they're actually brown. I would like one. They're actually oh, I, nice. I eat them all the time. Really? Oh. Mmm. Mm. They're actually really tasty. I thought they'd be all like. Much better more, when they're just fresh out the mm. out the you know fryer. Mmm. No, I like those. Okay. Mm. Which means. That seems the same to. You get to waste put them on my head. It seems well, such we, a shame. We need to waste them. We need to send them to the cannabis. <laughs> they're really nice. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yay! Grind them in, grind them in. That's it. Lovely. Ew. No more fishing. <laughs> right. Okay. My turn. Next. Eleven. Okay. Eleven, as we say in Scotland. This is more, more fluid. <laughs> Looks like. Oh, I didn't know. Another turn was fast. So you can guess what it is. Well, it, it's not tea. I'm just going to have a. <laughs> It's coffee! Oh! Ah. oh lovely, ah. lovely, 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 oh. <laughs> I wasn't ready! <laughs> oh, well that, that's the best time to do it. At least it's nice coffee. It smells mm, really good. Not that bad. Ah, it's good coffee. Mm. Um, mm. And uh, coffee. apparently in, in London or in Britain, it was, um, it used to be the men, they would go into the coffee shops to do business. Mm. Work out all the trade for sailing. And um, <laughs> dripping away, uh, and um, but women weren't allowed in coffee shops, so it was uh, Thomas Twining see, started a tea shop for ladies, so that lady, ladies could go in tea shops. You see, progress isn't <laughs> always a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to fix like really nasty for you now. <laughs> oh dear! Oh dear! <laughs> You're gonna get so much hate comment now. <laughs> All right, I'm joking of course. <laughs> Hmm. Yes, apparently that's what happened. So coffee houses were only for men. So um, the first tea shops were for women as well. Sounds sounds Which fair to sense. me. So yes. Tea, coffee, and uh, coffee still travels by ship as well. So, um, and on that note, <laughs> right, um, whose go is it now? It's Must you. Must be my go. Pay. Okay. <clears throat> so we've got two left. Um, the trouble is, she knows what's in them. Yes, I the problem is I've forgotten what's in them. Yeah, you know. You know what's well, in them. Well, if you like, you can pick one for no, me. No, no, no. Are you sure? No. Nope. Tell me what. Okay. <laughs> okay Number one. three. Ooh. <laughs> ah so, um, Captain Morgan's rum or something. I'm not generally uh, a kind of promoter of alcohol. No. But I felt this is very important because... This is navy rum, yeah. and um, rum was actually given in ration to the sailors every day. Absolutely. Um, so they drink it twice a day, and I think they had an eighth of a pint ration every day. 
as well. Yes, I had an old friend who's just recently died, and he was he was in on ships at the time. Mm -hmm. He was in charge of the rum. Now the officers got ah. their rum full strength, which I meant they that. didn't have to drink it every day. They could save it and save it up. But the ratings, the the men mm -hmm. got their rum watered down. So it Same. wouldn't keep, so they had to drink it oh, okay. and not hoard it. And yeah. I think they used to put the lime in the rum as well, sometimes. Um, and I believe that this was the law until about 1970. Yeah. And it was only taken out pretty recently. Yeah. And so, because um, they realised that the sailors weren't working very efficiently on the machinery. <laughs> 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 That's probably where we get drunken sailor song from. You know, what should we do with the drunken sailor? But uh, So are you going to drink yes. it? Um, I think I might have to have a little, uh, what do they call it? A tot, a tot. Of rum. Yeah, I might have to have a tot, have of, a rum. tot of rum. Um, and then plus that means I get to, for the rest of the year, that seems do a bit of a shame. Just as long as there aren't any flames around here. Yes. I don't want to be yeah. going off like a Christmas, well, like a Christmas pudding, because I do have the spice on me now. <laughs> That's true. And the rum, it could In be. In fact, uh, that, that could go down quite well. It could be a rum punch. <laughs> Okay, I'm doing it left-handed now, which probably wasn't very good. Okay, this is going to be really strong no. after crickets. Why didn't I pick that one? I see. <laughs> mm. Now I'm awake. Right. Wash down the crickets. I'm going to shut okay. my eyes. Yeah, I'm going to put it on the back there. Oh, there you go. I'm going to be nervous too much. This is George's mouth. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> you might miss. Uh, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you say you're giving a talk this afternoon? <laughs> oh, yeah. If, uh, if, if it's not on form this afternoon, you know why. It's my mm. fault. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, and I think um, they used to use it for medicinal reasons as I'm well. I'm sure they did. The, yes. uh, the yes. heating wounds and the amputations of board ships. Oh, yes, amputations. So. I'll always have a bottle of rum first. Exactly. Um, right. So we've got one more left. Uh, so. I wonder what I'll have. Uh, can I have this one, please? <laughs> Would you like number six? Number six. <laughs> yes. See. Number six. I can't actually remember what this is now, so... Mm. Oh god! That horrible! Can guess what it is? Um... What is that? <laughs> I should perhaps show the, uh... Oh, wait a minute! To the guys at home! Oh! It's banana! It's banana! Mush banana! Yeah! Oh, well, I love mush but banana! But it's been, it's been mushed up, and it's uh, gone a bit brown. Now, my granddad only ate banana once it had gone black. Really? Yeah, he, he wouldn't so touch it. So he'll be fine with this. You see, I don't like black banana, so I'm going to take the black bits off yeah. to you. Uh, and I'm going to eat the nice, the nice, mm. <laughs> I love bananas. The one problem with bananas is that there are very few species of banana. Very, oh, really? And, and, and some of them are now beginning to get a fungal disease. And if oh. we can't sort that out pretty quickly. Yeah. Mm, I'm having a little bit. Oh no, <laughs> hang on a minute. Well, I, the more I, I eat, the less I get to put on you. Yes, that's good. We mm, like that. Um, I, I chose banana because yeah. um, apparently sailors, I'm, I'm bracing, bracing myself and delaying things here, um, apparently there's a superstition among sailors that they won't take bananas on the ships and it comes from possibly three different reasons. The first one is that as the banana started to rot, probably the methane gas and different toxic gases, everyone died and the ships went missing. Um, because of bananas. Because bananas, yeah. The second reason is because of the spider that would hide in the banana and then it would bite people and then they'd die. Uh, and then no, so, they wouldn't die. Well, after a while, you know. Sailors? It's a long time ago, you know. I thought they were tough. Well, spider Who's a spider? Ah! <laughs> I think they were quite venomous spiders, apparently. But. Uh, and then the third reason is because they were going off, they, the ships would actually kind of rush back and then they'd go onto rocks and things, so so all these ships go missing because of the bananas on the boat. I don't believe any of that. So I just think you're talking. And even today, people don't like using things like banana sun lotion. I just think you're talking because <laughs> I just think oh, you're talking because no, you don't no. want you don't want <laughs> mercy this. brown banana. Nah, keep still and take your banana. Here no, you go. I've got a banana now. Oh, oh it's so cold. Mm -hmm. ah. People would pay good cash for this. A, a, a banana hair treatment. I'm not convinced. Oh no! That's so cruel. <laughs> you know, we put the rest of that on there. Uh, no, nope, it's all gone there. <laughs> well, Sarah, thank you so much. <laughs> Pleasure. For asking me to do And your... if you'd like to come back and do the challenge again, you're absolutely welcome. <laughs> Eat it or wear it. <laughs> yes. I thought you'd enjoy that. Can I go and change that, please? <laughs> and there you have it Eat it or wear it challenge. I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs>